everybody, E here. Welcome back to Thursday Theorist. Today we are talking about Stephen King's newest book, Elevation. Yeah. Um, if you've watched my review of this book, you already know I didn't like it. I'm going to go ahead and go into why I didn't like it. In my review on Goodreads, I said uh, diehard conservatives will hate this book because of the gender politics uh, or the identity politics. And SJWs are going to hate this book because it literally had literally has a straight man needs to help the the lesbian woman win um but the problem with that is before i get into anything else the problem with that is not just that that she needed help the problem is the straight man inserted himself into the situation had he not been there she wouldn't have had any problems she would have won anyways but he put himself into the situation just so he wouldn't have to feel bad about the whole situation. Now, um, I've been talking to several different people. Um, there, there is a certain, I guess, uh, there's a certain type of person that's going to love this book. Um, and if I'm honest, it's going to be straight white men are going to love this book because it makes them out to be a hero. And that's that's fine, whatever. the The problem with it is when when you have this this message over here that says you know this this I guess sub subculture or whatever you this minority needs my help. I must be the great white hope and save them all. But then you have to cause a problem to be able to fix a problem. That's like starting a war and then coming along and ending the war. And then everybody, everybody's celebrating the fact that you won the war. That, it doesn't work that way. I'm sorry. So, besides that, I, I don't want to hear any political nonsense down the, Just story-wise, that's some bullshit. The, the, just the story, just the plot hole, the huge plot hole there bothers me. And that, more than anything else, is what bothers me about this book. Is that it does not make sense. Also, there is a section in the book where um, it said, okay, well, that's the whole point of being an ally. King's trying to bring us together. Okay. My argument for that is simple. At the beginning of the, toward the beginning of the book, the main character, Scott Carey, gets into an argument with some, I guess, con some conservative guys um, who don't like the fact that there's a lesbian in town and that les this lesbian couple has opened up a, a restaurant. He almost gets into a fist fight with them. Now, with, with that in mind, we fast forward to the end of the book, where just because the main character helps the, the lesbian woman, helps her to win the race, all of a sudden the entire town sees the errors of their way? I don't understand. Um, I guess it's something to be said for compassion, but it was also compassionate that he, that he would approach those guys at the table and say, Hey, you know what, I don't like what you're saying. Isn't that rude? So on and so forth. And then come at the end, it's, it, it's very forced, and it did not ring true. I have always known Stephen King books to feel real, even when, the, even when there's supernatural stuff. It always feels real. He always bases it in reality. This book is pure and utter fiction. It, nothing in this book would happen the way it would go. Now, talking about the supernatural aspect of it, the main there's no conflict. The main character is losing this weight, and yes, there's going to be some allusions to uh, to, to thinner, but there's two completely different things because the char Scott Carey, the main character in here, suffers zero, zero bad things happen to him. Nothing bad happens to him. Nothing at all. There's no consequences for his weight loss until the end of the story, and then he just floats off content. Like, is he done with life? Is it like this world's horrible and I'm just gonna float away? It, it just, it doesn't make any sense why he would just decide that, that allowing himself to die or just giving in to floating off into space. Nothing about this book makes sense. I am literally upset. Uh, but once again, my problems with the story are not political. It, not motivated in any way by gender identity, any of that. My problems are with the story. The story doesn't make any sense. And Stephen King forced it 
just so he could get his point across. And that's the worst thing you can do with literature, I feel. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of you that disagree with me. That's fine. But we're going to we're going to get on to, like I said in the review, if you watch the review of this, any political comments are going to get deleted. Just right out. I'm not going to respond to them. I probably won't even finish reading them. Now, if you want to talk about the story elements, why you like them and dislike them, that's fine. Just don't go on any political tirades. I don't want to hear, well, SJWs are ruining the world, or oh, the, the, the right wing, alt right. Uh, I don't want to hear any of it. I don't. And I know it's coming, that's what I'm trying to tell you guys, stay away, just don't. But uh, the connections as far as, see this is a, actually I'm going to stop there and I'm going to say this is the reason why books like this bother me. Because it, all it does is it brings up, there's more division here because King's only talking to one side of the playing field. He's not talking to everybody, he's only talking to one side because people of the mindset that homosexuals are evil or they're you know sinful or whatever it is they're going to read this book and they're going to roll their eyes that's just, that's not the way to to bring about what he wants to bring about what he is doing here is self-serving i'm sorry it's the truth um but then i have to come along and I, to finish the series i have to come along and talk about it and my comment section is going to become toxic because of that and that's unfortunate um but the the Dark Tower connections are also forced. Um, it happens in Castle Rock for no other reason than it just needs to happen in, uh, that, than it happens in Castle Rock. Um, he mentions the Inside View, he mentions the Night Flyer, he mentions all that stuff, and I've connected all that, all that stuff. But as far as the, th the Thursday Theorist stuff is concerned, there really is nothing else. I mean, it's just another oddity that happens in Castle Rock. It's another reason why I didn't care too much for the Castle Rock series, because there's no cohesion. It's just another weird thing that happens in Castle Rock. Um, but I've connected uh, Gwendy's button box to the Stephen King universe, and I'm going to connect it the easiest way possible there. I have no other theories, mainly because I didn't d deep dive into this book, because I didn't enjoy it. Will I ever reread it? Sure. Sure, I'll reread it. But uh, I've gone on way too long. Again, this isn't meant to be political. The problems I have with the story are with the story. It has, doesn't have to do with the politics. If you want to label me, I'm on the same side as King. If you want to rant and rave about politics, about Trump, about any anything like that, go somewhere else and do it. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been the Thursday Theorist Review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.